think that the University of Southampton is quite unique in terms of the number of nationalities of students that I've been uh, able to expose to and I got a chance to work with so many people from different countries, cultures and learn from them. The fact that this is not just an educational building, the fact that here we have people who are working actively in the marine sector, where you can meet people who also work for charities, for NGOs, for companies, and that I think is a fantastic benefit to this location. Students probably benefit mostly from our practical uh, facilities and the amount of practical work and field work that we offer our students, both field work in the UK but also internationally. I'm going out in the field, I'm doing something rather than just sitting in my classroom and just learning theory. So I think that will definitely have an impact in my, in my career as well as like in the future also. We have the research vessel Callista, which we use on a daily basis to take students to see, to give them experience of sampling equipment over the side of the vessel and analysing their own data which really means that we equip our students with authentic real-world skills that they're going to find useful in employment. Calista is something I've spent a lot of my time on. Uh, we're quite lucky to have it, so it's a really amazing asset for the university. Southampton is a, is a maritime city and geographically but also historically Southampton has a lot of exciting and important marine and maritime stories to tell us. There's a lot of uh, undiscovered maritime heritage in the area so like in on the Hamble River for example you can find a lot of undiscovered wrecks it's all here. Plus, uh, from a more humanities perspective, um, Southampton has a lot of cultural spaces uh, or art galleries that have a strong focus or active engagement with the environment as well. One of the other big strengths of the university are its research institutes. Uh, we have a big institute for life sciences, for web sciences, uh, for sustainability, and a lot of collaboration goes on between these institutes. We have placements and we work as well with multiple partners all around the globe. So we can put students within these placements and networks to connect them in for their future. We have that kind of sense of the individual learner and what their ambitions might be in coming to the University of Southampton, where they want to go and what they want to do. If we as a world are going to be carbon neutral, by 2030, 2050, there's going to be, have to be a lot of offshore development for wind farms. All of those wind farms need maritime archaeologists. At the moment, there's just not enough. So we really need to train people with particular professional skills because the jobs are there for them and they're very much needed.